Morgan, let's begin with Joe Biden's big week, his big wins. Listen, Joe Biden had another great Tuesday. Uh, Biden is looking forward to having an election every Tuesday from now to November. Uh, he's on a great run. There were six states this week, and I think the importance of it is that it really became a two-person race this week. Bloomberg was out. Others had dropped out. It truly was a two-person race. Some of the states that were up this week, Missouri, Mississippi, Michigan, Idaho, North Dakota, and Washington State. And I think, Mark, the most interesting part about that is Bernie won Michigan very big in 2016 over Hillary Clinton, which was a big momentum builder for him. And that, frankly, it kept Clinton from closing him out until much later in the process. He also won Washington State very big. These are, these are Bernie areas that did well. And Biden just cleaned his clock this week in Michigan. And Biden won Washington. The only state that he lost uh, was North Dakota, which is a very small state. Where we are now, Biden has about a 150 delegate vote lead, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the truth of the matter is, in order for Bernie to catch up to Biden, he's got to win 55 to 58 percent of the vote in every single contest, including the super delegates moving forward, and that's just not. Doable. And he's down in the polls on next week's uh, primaries, 24 points in some states. Absolutely, and Florida is going to be a big win for Joe Biden. I think, you know, Bernie immediately after Tuesday called a press conference. Most folks thought he was going to drop out, and that sort of saner heads would prevail. They did not. Uh, and he's called for more debates instead. I think, listen, uh, this race is all but over, and I think next week after you get through with Florida, they, mathematically, it just will not be possible for Bernie. I think Bernie's got a decision to make, and I think it really does show some of his true stripes. Is this is really not about a revolution uh, and a movement. It's about himself. And so I think did you're the moderates come process. home, and was this a lose for AOC and that, and that wing of the party? Listen, I think this entire process has brought sanity back to the Democratic Party in that uh, they're, the capitalists have won and the socialists have lost. And that's a good thing for our party. It's a good thing for our country.